Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we will go through the hospital management system. This is very useful for doctors, uh, clinics and small hospital. In your digital transformation, health management information system. Uh, so we call HMIS or EMR, electronic medical record. Maintenance record for patients uh, is very good uh, practice as well as is government compliance nowadays. So let's go through the whole system. Actually. So once you log in uh, in hospital management system, which is a uh, WordPress plugin, this is how you will see uh, the dashboard area where patients, doctor, nurse, support staff, all the modules are coming up on the dashboard. Then you have the cards, individual cards for prescription appointment. These are recent records that you can see on the dashboard. Uh, patient details, operations, assigned bed, uh, so it has both OPD and IPD. You can also see the income report notices and uh, uh, on uh, appointments of calendar. Now let's go to general settings. Uh, so this is where you actually change all the details and make it sure that you know your branding is reflected. So name, email address. You also have option of localization. You can change date format as per your country, and you, know, you can enable the notification. You can set the currency. You can set the hospital logo or clinic logo as per your requirement. For if you have online payment, you can set the PayPal uh, settings where you know you can collect online payment through PayPal. You can set your currency. So if you are in UK, you can set pound. If you are in Europe, you can do euro. Or if you are in Africa, the, the, uh, your relevant currency you can select. Uh, we also have the virtual appointment system over here. So you know you can do remote consulting through virtual uh, system, which is uh, Zoom enable. So you can do remote consulting through Zoom. Now let's go and check exercise. So we have different user roles: doctor, patients, nurse, laboratories. And depending on role, you can also set the access right. You know, you can restrict the access to certain modules. You can give full rights to certain modules. Like patient might just need their own data about the prescriptions and uh, lab reports. Whereas you know, pharmacists might need data of all the patients uh, that has been you know, given a medicine. So you can set the access right as per that. Now we have the email notification. So whenever a new patient is registered, you know, there is an email that goes out for successful registration. You can customize that email as per your need. So this is very useful when you want to set up your own branding, change some wording, make it more personalized to, uh, you know, uh, your localized environment. It's very important. We also have audit log. So, you know, any hospitals or clinic, they have to, you know, uh, comply with the government. So, audit log is very important. Where, you, know, you can get access to who access what and what was the changes that's been done. Uh, we also have the SMS setting MSC 91. Uh, if you can change it. So, you know, email notification like SMS notifications and can be sent to patients. Now, let's look at the doctors. So, you know, you can, the whole system uh, needs to be set up from the doctor's point of view. So, you can add doctors and you may have one or multiple doctors. That's completely fine. It's allowed over here. Then you have the outpatient model where, you know, patients just for consulting comes up and, you know, you can register a patient, enter all their personal details, their image and everything over here. Sometimes, you know, if you have to add guardian details, that also you can, can be added. Uh, and this is how the patient uh, listing comes up and you can see the patient details, the invoicing, uh, admit uh, will help you uh, do the inpatient, uh, to admit a patient in your hospital, that would be useful, you can add doc and so on. So, you know, that's very important uh, module. Uh, now let's look at the outpatient listing. So you can filter and search. You can also edit the outpatient. I mean, you know, if there is any data that needs to be updated, you can do that. Uh, and there is uh, inpatient model. So any patient that needs uh, surgery, you know, this is a model that can be useful. For. So you can, you know, convert existing OP patient to inpatient, or add a complete new patient. Again, I think this form looks like same as OP. But the step two and three is different because now you are adding the guardian information when you are actually, uh, you know, admitting a patient. So you add guardian details and you also add the admit details, time, admit time, and things. And this will be good for admit card, you know. So then, you know, when you have any patient, obviously there is nurse and the beds that needs to be allocated. So you can add the nurse. Here is a nurse listing. The nurse can be allocated to a particular patient. 
the support staff module is useful for the admin purposes you know where you know your front office would use that module uh, we also have the pharmacy module so you know any medicine prescription that's been given to patient can be dispatched if you have internal pharmacy it also has the inventory same goes with the laboratory so any laboratory uh, report that has been uh, prescribed can be created and uploaded here for the patient uh, accounts module is info useful for income and expense and so this is accountant who can manage income expenses now this is the pharmacy model where you can actually add the medicine stock uh, inventory uh, you can also dispatch medicine uh, based on prescription you can bill the patient as well uh, based on what are the uh, medicine that has been sold to a patient and it gives you complete record of the medicines within the in-house pharmacy store then you also have a treatment model where you can actually list out the treatment assign the price then this treatment can be applied to any patient like you know if you have a heart surgery that can be added to uh, treatment this is a prescription model where you know a doctor can create a prescription for a patient uh, they can also uh, you know uh, describe a diagnosis report uh, like blood test or something like that and you know there is an easy way to add medications uh, how many times of the day the medicine needs to be uh, taken and those data can be added so we also have the for in-house uh, pair of, uh, for the of hospital, full flank hospital, there are pairs that can be managed through the system. So you can manage, uh, there are categories also. So you have bed in ICU, where bed in general ward or special category, you can manage those over here. And this bed can be assigned to a particular patient as well. So as you can see, yeah, once the bed is added, you can assign a bed to a patient. So whenever there is a patient in emergency, you can assign an ICU and you can move to a general uh, bed. So transfer bed will help in those transition where you are shifting patient from ICU to general ward. Then we also have an instrument. So these would be bypass or ventilator, ventilator and those things where you assign those instruments to patient and you, know, you charge them hourly basis or daily basis. So that can be managed through instrument management uh, module. Now you also perform operation as a hospital, you know, you have multiple surgeries planned. You can schedule those uh, surgeries as operations. So, and there would be OT theater one, two, three, four, five. I mean, this kind of management is also possible. The sign a doctor who will perform the surgery operation date and those kind of details that can be added easily over here. Uh, Whenever there is treatment, you can also add a diagnosis. I mean, if the patient in OPD and IP both, I mean, if you want to upload a lab report, you know, blood test or malaria or dengue test, you can also upload it over here. Then you have the blood bank, uh, where I mean, you know, any patient that is gone under surgery uh, might need a blood at time of surgery. So you can also manage the whole blood bank over here. You can collect the blood, make it, tag it, uh, and make the inventory, dispense it, so on. So this is appointment. So you know, as we have seen in patients, I mean, this is a listing uh, of appointment where you know all the patients' appointment list comes up in one uh, simple page. You can also add a new appointment for a patient, uh, select a time slot and assign a doctor uh, and add appointment. This will appear in the calendar in the dashboard as well. And this is the invoices. So every appointment, every medicine. They incur some charges, right? So this is where you know the invoice model is very useful. Some charges create the invoice directly, but you can also do ad hoc invoice where you know custom charges can be added. So these are automatic charges when you check, click on check charges. These are charges that supplied automatically in the patient side. Uh, and uh, by selecting the charges, you will be able to create an invoice. And once the invoice is paid, it comes in the income list. So you can also, when you click on new income, you will see that as an income. When you add income, you want to, you can collect the payment in cash or bank transfer. And these are expenses. So you can also add expenses for staff or maintenance or supplier. Those are the things that can be added. And uh, depending on your country, there might be different taxes that applies. Uh, so you can also add the taxes uh, and you know, uh, define on, on your own taxes and percentage of taxes. Uh, we also have the event model, which is useful when you have in-house uh, medical event or in-house staff event that you can plan. 
sometimes these events are useful for external invitees sometimes for internal uh, we also have uh, the in-house I mean, messaging system where you know a message can be sent to all patients or all doctors or all nurses so this is very important uh, this is full flange hospital ERP so it is useful in that sense we also have ambulance so you know if uh, a patients uh, need to be brought into the hospital you know ambulance can be ordered and sent uh, to pick up a patient or at the time of discharge also the ambulance can be used uh, and then there are different management reports like bed occupancy report, operation query success report to measure the efficacy of the uh, health system you've got in, a, in your clinic or hospital. This is very useful to understand whether you are performing well as a hospital or not. You have the income report, you have the expense report. This completely gives you overview of your day-to-day uh, -day operation, whether you are making uh, a, a value-based organization or whether you are uh, having a loss-making organization. This gives you all data and this can be customized so you can select the date uh, range and then you know find out whether the expenses uh, was in line with what you expected or whether your income in particular fiscal year uh, was in line with your expectation. So those data can be uh, you know uh, created easily uh, within the system and this can be a download into a, a PDF format or you can also print it. Uh, in that sense, so you can once download as a PDF, you can share with your uh, management or other people. So this is overall a, a very comprehensive system for any uh, hospitals. Also, it's, it's good for the clinics to manage their day-to-day -day operation. Uh, I would re definitely recommend this system to give it a try and see if it is useful. It will help you yeah. digitize your clinic and hospital. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel for more uh, new views and news like this. Thank you.